Why would it put a dent in bonuses? I mean, more supply is usually a good sign in some ways. Why is it a bad sign here? That's right. Well, we're talking about specific situations that were surprises overnight. So these weren't companies that people were expecting to have distress or quite the downfall that they did see. Um, but then again, overnight, when these surprises do come, that's when the impact does hit. Now, it wasn't specific to one industry, which is interesting, but were there commonalities at all? So this is across industries. We saw distress in energy. We saw it in telecom, retail, communications. Um, however, with the commonality between a lot of these companies that we see, these are levered capital structures with billions of dollars of debt. And a lot of times you have investors that are sitting in these capital structures. They've invested in these companies and they feel comfortable even though there are risks. But what we're starting to see is that there are cracks. And when those cracks start to appear, when there's one bad earnings or multiple quarters of bad earnings, then you start to see bonds, loans tumble. In some ways, I want to ask, why are we not seeing more bankruptcies, right? Because the energy patch has been in trouble for a long time. I mean, retail has been in trouble for years. So what's, what's preventing these companies from just falling off a cliff? And what's preventing the ratings agencies from that ratings cliff? So it's a number of factors, um, amendments. We're seeing that uh, within these capital structures, the documents that lenders are signing on to are much looser. So what does that mean? It means that for the companies, they're able to push out maturities, they're able to layer on more debt so that they can avoid defaulting or having to file for bankruptcy. So you're seeing that with uh, the documents, you're seeing negotiations happen earlier um, where companies are going to their bondholders, or you're also seeing bondholders lend groups form and they're approaching the company and saying hey look we understand that you have debt coming due uh, coming up and it's going to be a problem for you we're going to try to amend that